Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasala, Kolim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say for water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachananawa. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the spirit. And um, just came across this video, kind of popped up. Um, and this is, you know, this young lady trying to teach. She's got this entitled, A Word, Have Ears to Hear and Eyes to See What God is Doing. But why don't you have the ears to hear the scriptures when it talks about your ass not supposed to be teaching? <laughs> you know, they ain't. Hey, see, and, and it's all about if she's on here, she wants to be pretty. We get it. You want to show yourself, we get it. And to have this westernized mindset when it comes to the scriptures, you can't read the Bible, man, with, with an American mindset. It doesn't go together. It doesn't work. Because the American mindset or the Western mindset, it, 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 you women are just hard-headed as hell. You don't want to listen. See, this Western mindset, this American mindset is giving you these thoughts that I can do this too. I, what do you mean only a man can teach the scriptures? Hey, look, man, well, why aren't you listening to what the Lord is saying? But anyway, I wanted to play a little bit of it because I even seen somebody in the comment board talking about they was a Hebrew Israelite talking about some damn Jesus. If you were a Hebrew Israelite, you should know that the Lord's name is not Jesus. Might be one of those IUIC followers. Who knows? Because they anyway, let's just play. <laughs> let's play some of the video because she's going to go off into why she thinks people turn to Hebrew Israelites, I think, some to that extent. Let's get it. And this is for educational purposes only as well. This is for educational purposes only. Copyright disclaimer. So let's play it. Like lose your sheep or your lamb or something like that and don't run out to go and catch it and tie it back up. Which one of y'all would... Now, my, now mind you, right here, what she, matter of fact, I should have backed it up a little bit more because she's talking about basically the Sabbath. And she's talking about, you know, um, matter of fact, let's let's just back it up and, and, and let's get it. Let's back it up a little bit and it'll kind of phase on into what I was talking about as well. I'm like, I'm the one that was blind. I'm not blind anymore. Hello, I'm standing right in front of you. But that's heart posture. That's what it'll do to you when you don't have your heart in a place of receiving. But you got your heart in a place of exalting yourself. It's like you can't even accept what God is doing right in front of your eyes. But either way it goes, so it says, they asked him, then how were your eyes open? He answered, the man called Jesus made mud, spread it on my eyes and told me, go to Salome and wash. So when I went and washed, I received my sight. Where is he? They asked. I don't know, he said. They brought the man who used to be blind to the Pharisees. Oh Lord, the people that already don't like Jesus. People love taking you to your enemies. <laughs> but it says the Okay. So we know that the Lord's name is not Jesus. And she probably don't know that too. She because she's speaking on the Hebrew Israelites. She's heard that the Lord's name is not Jesus. There's too many videos with the breakdown of the letter J not being in Hebrew. The letter E not being in the Hebrew alphabet. The letter O, the letter U, the letter V. Plenty of videos. There's plenty of videos where the apostles, the elders on down have been going off into the fact that the letter J was invented in 1524 and that the letter J didn't exist when the Lord walked the earth. And I'm pretty sure this girl, she, she knows that. I'm pretty sure she's heard that, you know, but they could, they can, <laughs> and I'm willing to bet you, she going to sit down, she going to eat some ham and shit to Christmas dinner and all that. It's just me speaking as a man, you know, I'm willing, she, 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 she probably, I'm, I'm, she probably sat down to Thanksgiving, gave thanks, all in the name of sweet white baby Jesus to all the murderers. And see, this this is why we, it, it, ooh, boy, man. Anyway, let's play some more. The day that Jesus made the mud and opened his eyes was a Sabbath. Then the Pharisees, so you already know they worked up. They already been worked up because he been working on the Sabbath day. If Jesus keep working on the Sabbath day and he was God, why is it that Hebrew Israelites and et cetera still be talking about we ain't supposed to do nothing on the Sabbath day? And he no, we don't be saying that you're not supposed to do anything on the Sabbath day. What we, what, but because you, when the brothers is going out on the highways and byways, they're doing good. That's what Yahweh was doing. 
He was doing good. He was going forth to teach the scriptures. He was going forth to let the people know to repent. He was doing good. Not going out buying a um a, a motherfucking pizza while you 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 having a daiquiri. You know what I'm saying? Sitting up in Applebee's and you know just going and just continuing about. It's supposed to be a day of rest. You're supposed to be resting or going into the scriptures, man, and recollecting on, on, on your how about Shimmy outside. Not going out doing your own thing. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so the understanding must must be there, man. And this is what we be talking about when these Christians they just go, and especially you women, man. Oh my, man, y'all need to just cut cut it out, bro. It's not meant for you to do. And she probably don't even have no husband. She probably don't know how to cook. <laughs> Uh, man, probably sitting there right now with some damn leggings with her with her with her box uh, cut up camel toe or pig foot or whatever you want to call it showing you know with all this old cute shit this is not no game man anyway let's play some more he didn't already say it. jesus already to say which one of y'all will like lose your sheep or your lamb or something like that and don't run out to go and catch it and tie it back up which one of y'all wouldn't do that? So he keep letting them know that y'all are stuck in old ways. The scripture talks about going back to the old ways. What do you think we're doing right now? Because your new ways, you being in this Western society, this American society, these new ways got you all fucked up where you think that you can sit in a car and do a damn lesson. With your Christianity mindset. Th those are your new ways. Your new ways got our people fucked up. What do you mean? What do you what, what do you think Yahweh Shai was talking about? He was talking about the old ways. <laughs> he was going into the old ways in that particular um parable or situation. She just don't understand it. You see? She's not she's completely not understanding what, what the Lord is even talking about. But anyway, let's play some more. But people be so stuck on exalting themselves, and I feel like a lot of you know, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but at the same time, it kind of just is what it is. Truthfully, I feel like a lot of people become Hebrew Israelites because it's like a black power thing. It's like a... Oh. No, Hebrew Israelites, that's a nationality. That's culture. It has nothing to do with black. We're not black people. This is not the Black Panthers. <laughs> you know we're not coming together because because if you notice that we're at least among gms and we we quick to tell you get away from niggas man get away from blackness stay away from the black woman that's the that's destroying the shit out of us man stay away from those things that will destroy you man we, we, this is not no black thing i think people become hebrew israelites because she don't even understand that, that that's a nationality of people and then she's trying to add in the fact, let's just play some more. Here we go. We the special, we the chosen. And it's like, no, every, everybody, God came from salvation for the world. Like it's not about. See, let's get, let's get the scripture. As a matter of fact, I should have just went ahead. Let me get this real quick though, since she's talking on that. Let's get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And they'll skip all over stuff like this. You can't talk to no Christians, man. You ask a Christian what this right here mean, they're going to, they're going to scurry all around it. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, where thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above. Even my alarm just went off and I have the alarm set for the chariots too. 144. <laughs> that's on my other phone. And that's the spirit, baby. This is for the children of Israel and the children of Israel only. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 again, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right? Let's get another one. Precept upon precept. She 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 doesn't understand precept upon precept. She's just a damn Christian trying to teach in her car. Deuteronomy 14. Because see, she, she wanted she wants you to see how cute she is. See? That, that shit is going to get a lot of our people destroyed, man. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, which that word holy goes into a separate people, man. And the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. 
that are upon the earth. Now, you, you can run them scriptures down on her and, and, and she be, well, that was then. But the scriptures talks about how the Lord, he changes not. You know, even Paul even talked about, um, has the Lord, uh, 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 how is it worded? Um, has the Lord, matter of fact, let me see if I can find this lock here. Romans 11 and 1, I say then, have Yahweh cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So the Lord, hey, Paul's clearly letting you know right there, hey, no, the Lord hasn't forgotten his people, man. This is still about the Hebrew Israelites. She has absolutely no understanding of the Gentiles. She thinks that this that this truth is for every nation that's under the sun, man. And it's not. And, and it's it's crazy, man, how a lot of our people, man, are gonna be so destroyed, man. When it comes straight now to it, man. Let me, let's get this real quick. I'm gonna get it. Uh second address six. And I'm sure they, they don't um believe in the apocrypha. They they don't know anything about the apocrypha. Second Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam, who also, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, now here's a separation here. As for the other people, you got the chosen, and then you got the other people, right? As for the other people, which also come of Adam, Thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them into, unto a droplet that falleth from a vessel. So the Lord is comparing these people to spit, man, or a little drop of water falling out of your water bottle or something. Nothing, man. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, so they've always been looked at as nothing, man, have begun to be lords over us. And to, devour, and to devour us. And she don't even know that she's a part of that devouring. They've devoured her to the point where she actually can, she thinks that she can, she, she's free to sit in a car and do a lesson and read the scriptures as if she know what the fuck she's talking about, man. <laughs> Lord is about to start wreaking havoc on a lot of these people, man. It says, but we thy people whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Thy only begotten and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. She don't even know that she's given into the hands of her enemies. She's trying to fucking save. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long would this how, how long shall this endure? See? But let's go back. Let's get some more. And you can clearly see she just don't know what she's talking about. She's literally, she she wants to show. Her pretty little look with that forehead, that eight head, you know, <laughs> I, I mean, she want to show, she want to show, look at me. This is what this is all about, man. Generally, when you see these women preachers, man, it, it, it's all, it, it's no different than, than seeing some, basically just some chick in the street, man. Same look, they prancing, they bouncing their big ass across the stage. Look at me, look at my shape, look at me, look at my makeup, look at my big ass. Look at, you, you, uh, come on, bro. Come on, man. Out who y'all want to be or how much better y'all want to be because of, you know, the, the, the degrading situation that had took place during slavery. I understand. Your ass, you still, know, in the, you still in the degrading situation. She talking as if this shit is over with. Your ass still at the bottom. Still at the bottom, bro. You can, man, I can't wait, man, till the Lord start, just start, man, can't wait, man. That the situation was degrading and it makes people want to puff their chest up because it's like, we got to prove like, no, we just as equal as y'all and et cetera. But in reality, you can find your equalness. You can find your worth in God. It don't take for us to tell. It don't take nobody to tell nobody who they are. You know what I'm saying? Anybody with eyes that can see. Or even just a spirit that can feel, they know that we all equivalent. No, nah, no. Nah. There's we just read the scriptures, and we have to go forth and let the people know. The Lord says to go and cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and let these people know, man. We have to let our people know Israel, their transgressions. We also have to let the, these other nations know that hey, the prophecy says that y'all ass is going into slavery. 
Y'all going directly into captivity. You're going to get double for what you've done to the children of Israel. You will, get, you will receive no mercy because you've shown no mercy. It's too many scriptures on that. Now, here you go. You sitting here trying to teach. But what? So you might as well just shut the fuck up. Because basically what you're saying is just chill. But this is that Christianity, let's save everybody mentality, man. And who knows? She might have a white mama or a white daddy or something. Who knows, man? Regardless of what happened to us, you get what I'm saying? Or happened to anybody because... You feel me? No, we so don't. So either way it goes, though. You see, here you go. You, 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 you fucking. This is like sexy red reading the scriptures. You feel me? Get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> These people. I can't not wait, bro. When the Lord, man, I can't wait, Lord. Man, oh man, oh man. I cannot wait till the Lord stretch out on these people, man. Incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end out though. I didn't want to go too far into this. This shit is aggravating. She's aggravating to hear her damn voice is aggravating. It's just, just aggravating to hear this type of ignorance, man. Let me get back to the word. It says, Then the Pharisees asked him again how he received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, he told them. I washed and I can see. Well, Halloween in my last video, the deceitfulness of Halloween is. Oh, we just taking the kids to get candy. They're going to have fun. It's a fun night. Uh, anyway, y'all get what's going on here. Y'all get what's going on here. You got sexy red in the car and a hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Trying to show off her new hairdo. Her nails and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're trying to trying to speak on the Hebrew Israelites. Talking about it's, a, uh, it's just a black power movement, basically. How the Lord loves everybody. Y'all Christians, man, y'all about to see. Y'all about to get in it. Matter of fact, you about to see that the Lord don't even love the, all the Israelites. He's about to do y'all, uh, uh, our people dirty, man. The Lord is not out here loving on every damn body, man. The scripture clearly says that he, he, he loved Jacob, but he hates Esau. There's judgment that's going out for these nations, man. Let me get, matter of fact, let me get this revelation since she she, she entitled her, her video, Have Ears to Hear. Well, let me let me get this for you then. Let's get this one if you have ears to hear. You get to read these scriptures to these people, man. They're they, they, they going to reject them, man. Revelation 13 and 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear. Let's see if you will hear this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. See, while well, you're talking about slavery, she bringing up the fact of slavery. You bring the scripture up to her and ask her what this means. That's the last book of the, of the Bible. What does this mean? And they, they, they're going to squirm all around it. They're going to overtalk you. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Very last book of the Bible. <laughs> right? Why is this being spoken of? Who are the people that led or led a people into captivity? See? And you can clearly see how she was kind of. She wanted to eat, you know, oh well, let me stop talking about this because it's, you know, I know I'm saying some bullshit. She knew she was saying some bullshit. <laughs> Come on, bro. Anyway, and not even go off into it. Let me see. If, um, her name is Ann Nod Allen, and she got we got damn near sixteen hundred um um of subscribers, bro. Let me see. And she's just doing videos, bro. Like, it ain't nothing. Look. And, and we see what it is. We already see what it is. She she wants to be cute, man. She wants people to see her. You think, if you if you really think that she cares about the scriptures for real, come on, bro. You can clearly see. She, she wants people to see her. She's sitting in her car in a damn driveway. You know what I'm saying? Why don't you go out here on these highways and byways since you're feeling some type of way like that? Go on out here on these highways and byways and see how that works out. Be out here when, when things get nasty, man. You ain't going to be nowhere to be found when shit hits the fan. She's going to be somewhere curled up in fetal position crying. <laughs> Straight up, man. So, but anyway, I'm going to end out here, man. With that, I pray that the, the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.